Welcome everyone to Ryan's Reading Room. I'm Ryan. Thanks for being here with me today. We are up in the North Pole, where Santa's workshop is. Do you know what else is in the North Pole? Hmm. Polar bears? Uh-oh. Reindeer? Yeah. And what else? Snow. Lots of snow. And a whole lot of magic. Some say that magic is what makes dreams come true. Have you ever had a dream? Have you ever wanted to do something special, something big, like become an astronaut or a basketball superstar? Hmm. What about something small, like just scoring a basket? One of our friends is here today. He had a simple dream, one simple wish that he wanted more than anything. Let's read his story together and find out if it comes true. It's called The Snowman's Song, a Christmas story. Illustrations by Tracy LaRue Hone. Story by Marilee Joy Mayfield. Our story starts with a Spanish proverb, which goes, There is not enough darkness in the world to extinguish the light of one small candle. It's true, you know, that people of snow send their thoughts around without making a sound. Their feelings become small jewels of pure ice, and they sense these frost drops like a snowy cold spice. I want to sing, the little snowman sent his thought to his mother. I want to go a caroling, like a happy child with a silvery voice. It's Christmas time. I want to rejoice. Snow people can't sing, his mother thought sadly. We're made of snow and it makes no sound. A child of snow doesn't have a voice. I'm sorry, my son. You don't have a choice. But her little son, Snowman, had so many strong wishes he wanted to share that he made a windstorm of whirling thought air. I want my voice to be like church bells or like harps that angels play in the clouds. I want my voice to be bright, happy, and loud so all the people and creatures of earth will hear my proud hymn to our Savior's birth. A tiny bright bird with a darting quick pace wrapped her feet on his tree arm and sang near his face. Her thoughts formed soft snow notes so sweet and clear, he almost felt he had ears to hear. Why can't I sing like you? thought the little snowman. Well, of course you can. She sent his thoughts back to him as she touched his snow head with the tip of her wing. But first, you really need to believe that no matter what anyone thinks back to you, it just isn't true that a snowman can't sing. How can I do that? Everyone tells me I don't have a choice. I'll never make music or have my own voice. Well, I'm not sure how you do it. She sent back her warm thoughts. I just know before you can change who you are, you have to believe, feel it deep in your heart. Think strong thoughts in your mind, even when there's no hope, you must see a star. So, the sad little snowman put on a brave face 
He worked hard to replace his doubts and his fears with thoughts of sweet songs, music, bells ringing, and choirs. Deep in his heart, like a candlelit fire, his bright wish remained his one heart's desire. The sun always cheered him. At dawn, he felt strong. He tried to have a hope that his voice would soon flower. Would this be the day? Would this be the hour? But his spirit grew weak as the day became long. Each day was a chance to make a new start. But by night, he cried ice and felt sad in his heart. Sometimes he looked up for signs in the sky, but nothing was happening. He couldn't make sounds. Despite all his wishing, no one seemed aware that deep in the park, in the snow, he was there. But one day he woke up and something was new. The morning was crisp, the sky was bright blue. He felt powdery footsteps. Mommy, look what I found! A small girl stood near him, then she jumped up and down. Her eyes were so happy, her thoughts like bright light. Her warm voice was filled with pure Christmas delight. He's such a cute snowman! Could I stay and play for a while? Of course you can, dear. I'll be right here. Just have a good time. For most of the day, she played beside him. She straightened his hat and turned up its brim. She draped her red winter scarf around his round middle. She sang him three songs and she told him a riddle. Then she dangled her store-bought glass beads and charms all over his long carrot nose and both arms. Do you think he can hear me? She asked her mother. Are you crazy? Sneered her big brother. He rolled his eyes. Who told you those lies? Snowman can't hear anything that you say. Let's go home, said her mom. We'll come back another day. But the little girl didn't want to go home. Her once joyful thoughts took a more somber tone. She ran up to the side of his sad snowy face and whispered these words, which felt like an embrace. I know you can hear me. I really believe it. I think you are special. I'll never forget the day that we spent. I hear your music even though you can't speak. And then she leaned over and kissed his cold cheek. He wanted so much to sing just one small note, but nothing would come from his cold, hard snow throat. If only she knew he could hear in his head the sweet, gentle grace of the words she had said. But something was happening. He just didn't know. For where she had kissed him, she left a warm glow. And little by little, the snow melted spaces, leaving tiny pearl strings of small open places from the side of his face to the base of his throat, like the holes in a flute that play very high notes.
The night before Christmas was the worst night he'd had. All around there was music. Everyone seemed so glad. He silently stood in his place in the park. His feelings were frozen. His thoughts were so dark. His mother was worried. She felt his despair and she tried to send comfort to him through the air. He knew that she cared, but his cold, heavy silence was too sad to be shared. The loss of his dreams was too much to shoulder, and they wouldn't come back even if he had told her. He bowed his head and shut his eyes tight. Snow was starting to fall. It was such a cold night. With the last ounce of courage that only faith brings, his thoughts formed this prayer with frost-covered wings. Please let me sing a song filled with light. Then my life will be perfect. My thoughts will be right. And all the sweet sounds angels use to stop doubt will burst forth from my heart and out of my mouth like a powdery snow over this holy night. He almost missed her soft steps in the snow. She was holding a candle that gave a warm glow. It was the small girl. She had brought him a gift. She sensed all his tears. His soul needed a lift. Round his neck there was tinkling, like spoons hitting glass. She had made him a necklace in her second grade class. Silver bells, gold stars, and snowflakes of blue. It was beautifully fashioned. And it made music too. This gesture of kindness made his heart feel so light. His spirit was lifted. He forgot all his sorrow. No more thoughts of tomorrow. No more thoughts of the past. He just loved this one moment. He wanted to freeze it, just so it would last. Then the winter wind came with a huge forceful blast. The tinkling bell necklace swirled round very fast. And all of a sudden, the holes near his face blew out lyrical sounds like a heavenly flute. The whole world stood in place. His dream was fulfilled. He was no longer mute. His song was spring rains and violin strings, the fragrance of flowers and hummingbird wings. Words of great kindness, the faith in our hymns, the shine in our eyes, and a little girl's whims. More joyful than angels, more peaceful than sleep, filled with longing and prayers and memories to keep. All the love in his mind, all the light in his soul, his dreams for the future, his hopes to be whole, were the notes of his music, his own unique psalm. Her soft giving spirit had made his thoughts calm. She knew he had heard her. It was golden and true. The wonder of Christmas surrounded these two. For this sweet frozen moment, this small speck of time, in heaven and earth, everything was sublime. The end. <laughs> that story made me feel so warm, I almost forgot we were up in the North Pole. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful how believing in each other is sometimes just as magical as believing in ourselves? Whether it's a big dream like walking on Mars or a small dream like just singing a song. Believing in each other is what makes dreams possible. So next time you see someone trying something new, give them a helping hand or 
maybe simply say, I believe in you. Because you never know how far your words of encouragement will go. Just by loving each other, we have the power to make dreams come true. And that right there is what magic is made of. Thanks for listening. And thanks for being you. No matter what holidays you celebrate this year, we hope they're filled with joyful memories. And always remember, you are loved. And magic is real. I'm Ryan. We'll see you next time here in Ryan's Reading Room. Bye. Bye.